Hello everyone, this is Ryan with Learning Works for Kids, and we're back in our Let's Build world. So, uh, I decided to take a look at the beautiful landscape on top of our awesome tower. Yes, so last time, I'll fly up and around. Last time we built this, uh, beautiful structure. It's still not done, uh, but the basic of, the basics of the structure are done. Uh, I still want to add a lot of detail around the edges. Uh, however, two things I did add off camera uh, was uh, I at the end of the video I showed you that I wanted to take this beam in and make it a little more flush with the tower itself. Oh, there's... Oh, oh, there's... Here, hold on. I just heard uh, zombies because inside of this is really dark. So zombies spawned inside of it. Oh well, oops. So yeah, I took these logs in. I just wanted to make them a little more um, flush with the tower. Uh, so I did that all the way around. I think that looks so much better. Uh, and then on top of that, I added some cobblestone walls right along the bottom. Uh, just to give a little bit more depth and texture to the build. And I'm actually going to move that and that down to the bottom. Do I like it like that? Mm, no, actually, I think I'm just going to fill it all the way in. Like that. Yeah. Yep, that's how it's going to go. So yeah, I put that all the way around. Just cobblestone walls right along the edges. Just to give a little more depth to the bottom. Uh, but without changing the color. Because behind that, you can see, is the actual cobblestone. So, before we get started building on that pretty tower, I just want to take a look at... Like, just go off, uh, tell you some of my ideas for this. So, what I noticed was, was that the desert kind of spans along this whole line right here. And it cuts around, and it cuts right where the river is. But then if you follow the river, right, it continues once the uh, world chunks load. If they load, please load. <laughs> I'll sit on this tree and wait. Alright, they're coming in. Uh, all right, you can kind of see it. So you can see the desert line wraps around all the way around. So it's almost as if this whole area is surrounded by this desert. So when I build things like this, when I build... Typically when I build anything, I like to have some kind of story. Like why is it... What, you know, what are these people here for... You know, why are they what well, why are they building the way they are? Who are these people? What's their story? So what I've determined the story is so far is that the village actually used to expand out all throughout this land. Like this used to be all like nice grassland. But slowly but surely these sand monsters started taking over and essentially making the desert push the village back. And since it's so surrounded, it's almost as if this is the last hold. Like, this is the last stand of the villagers before the sand monsters can completely consume them. And uh, we'll see if they're able to combat them and push them back into the deserts. But first, we're going to set time to zero. So that's really what my idea is uh, on this build. That's just my, my thought processes. Thought processes words are not coming to me. <laughs> but I'm just going to take up some of the blocks and we'll get right started on this build. So let's see, what other things do I want? I want those. Uh, I don't really need those. Are there anything, are there any other items that I want to use? I might use some of the half slabs. Uh, I don't think the smooth, smooth slab is, is going to look right. The idea behind this is that this tower has withstood all of the... Oh, those, that's weird. What? See, Minecraft just updated to 1.9, so I kind of want to check out this block. It's so purple. It's so purple. Okay, so purpley block. Cool. I think I'm going to grab some of the, the non-polished andesite. I think that might look nice somewhere. I don't know where yet. But, in terms of these corners, so my idea with the corner is that if I can get it to work. Ah, uh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so I kind of want 
some kind of creeping, like, not a gargoyle, but kind of. Some kind of structure-y bit that, like, comes off and just, like, reaches up. I don't know, I don't I, I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, but I'm gonna, uh, um, maybe, hmm, how do I want to do this? Maybe if I had it like that. Do I like that? Uh, and then if I put a block here. See, this is where building gets interesting. Because now it's kind of this creative little... No, I don't, I don't like any of that. So this is where your uh, flexibility comes into play. You want to kind of just play with ideas and like think of how, how you want this build to really flesh out. To work the way you want, uh, and you kind of just you just gotta play around with the blocks. It's it's like Legos, you know. Um, hmm. How do I want to play around with the blocks though? It's kind of an awkward corner. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. And maybe put a half slab there, and then have stairs going up in those directions, and then maybe a kind of like that. Do I like that? And then, can I get... Hmm. Can I get anything more in there? No, that looks weird. That looks weird. Uh, if I put one there, it's going to hook around. Like that. Do I like that? No, without the block. So, this is where your flexibility comes in into play. Because you really want to just build around, see what you like, see what you don't like. And just go from there. So, let's see. How do I want to... Maybe I, I, you know, maybe I want the full block there. Because I think I want some kind of lamp there. You know what? No. No lamp. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Uh, and I'm actually going to put a half slab there. Does that look nice? That does look nice. And then, and then, I can take the corner and build it up to there. Maybe just one less. And then put a half slab there. There. No, no, no. There. I like that. I like that. I actually really do like that. So, that is going to be our corner bit. So, we built up this, this wall here. Put a half slab on top. You know what? You know what? I'm going to see what this looks like with the cobble instead. Uh, we'll keep this as a half uh, a stone bricks half slab. But let's get out our cobble stairs. I want a little more texture to this build. And I think that's what it's lacking right now. Is that kind of texture. And that's why it's looking a little bland. Uh, maybe if we get rid of that. Put that there. Uh, put that there. No, 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 no. That needs to be the stone brick. That, I don't think it matters. Oh, rain. Uh, toggle, downfall. There we go. Do I? No, I think, I think the stone brick looked better. It didn't give as much texture, but it gave the right look. And that's, that's really what I want. So this is going to be kind of a gray, colorless kind of tower, but I guess it's not really meant to be pretty. It's kind of just a defensive structure. So let's do that on all four sides. We'll build up the corner of the walls. Boop, 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 boop. And I think the stone slab was there, and one was there, there, and then one there. And then we had the stairs coming off there and there. And then we had an upside down there and there. All right, that looks good. Let's do that on this side. Do, 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 do. No, one less. There. There and there. Then the stairs. So yeah, going back to the whole flexibility thing. When you're building in Minecraft, you really have to kind of open your minds up to the different possibilities. And just play with... Play with the blocks. Just redesign as many times as you want uh, 
until you get what you're looking for. Um, it, it's kind of like when you're working on a school project and, you know, sometimes, especially with PowerPoints that I've done, sometimes it just, the slides don't have the information you really wanted to say or something like that. And you just, you gotta, you gotta play with those, play with the slides, you know, rearrange your pictures, uh, just make it look the way you want it to look and take the time to do it. So that's kind of what I mean by flexibility there is you just got to rework things, reimagine it. And I think that's what's amazing about Minecraft is that you get to redesign and just reimagine these cool ideas. So in this tower, I want some windows. So I'm going to break up the monotony by getting some windows in there. And I'm actually going to use these to frame our windows. So you'll see what I, I mean by that. We're going to put those in like that, that like that. And then we're going to put those upside down. No, other way around. So you see it kind of makes that little window shape. And I'm going to move that down one. So they're actually going to start there. Plop, plop. And I need to make these upside down. There we go. So that's going to be our window shape. And that's just going to be a little window that people can look out. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to put iron bars. Because this is... Mm, it is a defensive structure. So let's go get our iron bars. And put those in. Because let, let, let's just say these sand monsters are consistently attacking this tower. You know, they're, they're climbing up this mountain. They're just bashing away at it. And we want to make sure it's completely safe. So giant holes in the wall... Not exactly the safest design for a defensive tower, but you know. So I I only recently got better at building in Minecraft. I was not the best builder, but I think over time and uh, with the practice I've had, uh, I think I, I make some good structures now. I, 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 I enjoy my improvement. I really like playing around with the builds and seeing what cool, innovative ideas I can come up with. I've seen some crazy things, though, like a working hot tub. Uh, that will not, that idea will not go in this build at all because I don't think there's a hot tub in this land. They're too focused on fighting the desert people. Not, you know, not dealing with, uh, you know, luxury and lounging about. <laughs> so those are some windows that'll go in there. And I want to touch up this section of the wall. Now I could just put the walls up like that, but I don't want to do that. I think what I want to do is I want to have, I think it's um, every top section of a block. Yeah, every top section of a block. I'm going to have a half slab. And it'll go right up to that. So see how that kind of adds a little more depth there? Instead of it being, I don't know, weird and bland. Actually, I am... Hmm. I like how it connects there, but I don't like how it looks down there. So I'm actually going to do that instead. Does that look good? That looks good. I like that better. So we're going to move these half slabs up one, and they're just going to go every block. One. I keep missing the, the spot for them. And it'll go right up to that. So we'll start it there, and bring it down. And we're going to change the time. Because we have the power to do so. <laughs> All right, let's go around one more side. Okay, so now our, our build has a little more texture. Uh, I think I actually really like the texture uh, to it. I think that looks really nice. Now, the color situation. A lot of this is made of stone. I don't want to build the walls out of anything other than stone, I think it would look a little weird. So what's something we could add to this to give it a little more color? 
but without getting rid of the stone. And I can't cut into it, because that's going to look weird. I think it would have to be a decorative thing. Iron bars are a little gray. I could add the fences. The fences might help. So what, what kind of fence did I have over here? I was using the spruce fence. Okay, so I'll, I'll add some spru spruce fence. Maybe if I add them right along here, I'll have it cut into there like that. I kind of like that. All right, we'll go with that. So this will add a little more color to it, a little more bracing to the tower, if you will, too. And you know what? Because I accidentally misclicked there, I'm going to add like that, maybe one more down. Something like that. And then we'll put one right at the top so that there's three. Do I like that? I do like that. So it kind of makes this like web effect going on. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. So that's going to be... I'll put that all the way around the rest of the build. Uh, hmm, is there anything else I want to add other than that? So that's going to be our corners for the bottom. Anything else I want to add? I don't think I can fit any more of these. I think I could add maybe like some here, some here. Maybe add a little bit of bracing there. Do I want to bring it down? No, it doesn't attach, so it doesn't give those. Oh, no, I broke a block. What kind of block was that? I think that was just a basic one of those. Yeah, that, that was one of those. Okay. Uh, do I want to bring them up like that? Here, let's see what that looks like on the tower. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So we're going to do that on the corners as well. So that's going to add a little bit more color. You can see it now. There's a little more color. There's a little more depth. I'm actually going to go back and get... Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. I don't like that from afar. <laughs> yeah, that's a, a good little bracing. So the idea behind it is that this tower was there and it's been breaking down and being beat up, but you know, it's just not it's just not fully because of all the sand monsters and all that, it's been breaking down, breaking down. So these were added later on as bracing so that the tower didn't collapse. All right, so I'm going to I'm going to cut there and I'll be right back. All right, and we're back. So, what I did while uh, we were away, or while you were away, uh, I added, so I put all these on every corner. I also put on some bracings right in the middle here. I think that's just a little extra detail on these blank walls. I think that looks good. Um, do I like that? Now that I think about it? Mm, no. <laughs> See, this is what it's like to be a builder in Minecraft. You look at things and you're like, mm, 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 no, I don't, I don't like that at all. Nope, not even those. Not even those. Not a fan. Getting rid of them. Uh, and then where else did I put some? No, I put some there, there. Nope, that was it. So I put the ones up there and the ones down there, and those are the ones that we're keeping. I'm getting rid of these. I don't like them. I think they make it a little too boxy looking. <laughs> oh, the the trials and tribulations of a builder. You gotta deal with all this, you know, redesigning all the time. It's wonderful. I love it. I love the design process in Minecraft. Do I wanna do I wanna hook this up like this? I kinda do. I kinda do. I think that makes a lot more sense. Because this just, I don't know, it looks like it disappears into the thing, into the into nothingness. Whereas this looks like it's really connecting with the building. So we're going to add that little detail right there. Just a little bit more detail. You can never, well no, you can have too much detail. But it's wonderful to have detail. So that seems to be what the main exterior is going to look like. I really, I'm a fan. I'm big time a fan of this build right now. Uh, I'm impressed. I like this. Hmm. Is there anything else I want to add? No, I think it looks good. So you can see 
how the build kind of started out with a little bit of it didn't have much depth to it. I'm actually going to fix one little thing right now. I, I don't know why. I didn't like how that pillar was a little bit lower than all the other ones. Uh, so I'm just going to fix that. But uh, yeah, I I really like this structure. Um, I can't wait to build the interior of it and figure out the light situation. Actually, what I'm going to do right now before we cut this video, before I end it, is I think it might look cool to have lights on these things. Does that look good? Do I like that? Here, let's let's put them on more. And I'm actually going to set it to night in a second so I can see what it really looks like. Alright, so time set uh, 1800 or 18,000? Yeah. Hmm. Do I like that? Maybe if there is... Can I put one right here? I could put one more right there. Does that look good? Is that too many torches? Torches? Hmm. Hmm. I'm scratching my beard furiously. I am not sure if I like that or not. I, I think I do. I think I do. I think I'm going to throw the torches up along here. Uh, maybe I'll consult Ryan, the other Ryan, and see what he says about my building skills. Uh, I actually don't know uh, if he is a better builder than I am or not. He might be. Uh, he's been. I think he's been playing Minecraft a little bit longer than I have, but not by too long. I've been playing since beta 1.3. Uh, if anyone else knows what happened in beta 1.3, beds were introduced to Minecraft. So the function of having sleep. I think, yeah, we're going to add just those corners as well. I think having kind of, it's almost as if there's like a candlelight vigil going on. And it's just to, to signify that the people in these watchtowers are ever vigilant on, especially during the night. When all of these monsters come out from the desert. Uh, and I'll have to work out how I'll light up the top. Maybe, maybe, let's just do this now. Let's just light it up. Light it up, up, up. <laughs> Sorry, Fallout Boy. <laughs> let's just throw some, some torches down. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a really nice natural way to light up this build without... Without having to add glowstone or any weird things, I think torches really fits the theme. So I think that's uh, we're gonna wrap up now. I think next time we're gonna we're gonna build the inside of this cool tower. But for now, please hit that giant thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel. And remember, keep on learning.